Hey guys, it's NST, Never Stop Traveling. And today I'm at this super beautiful garden park in Tokyo, and I'm gonna show you all the cool cherry blossoms. So when you come to Japan, if you do come to Japan, or if you're just watching this video, you have to see the cherry blossoms. It's in the spring. Actually, you don't have to, but I would highly recommend it. And if you can come here in the spring, it's very busy. People from all around the world come to Japan just to see the cherry blossoms and they, they blossom all across Japan, from the south all the way up to the north. But it's just so relaxing to spend some time out here, enjoy just sitting in the park, thinking, you know, doing some journaling, maybe doing some writing, um, having good conversations with other travelers from around the world. Um, just the other night, we were um, having a few drinks at the hostel, and we just sat down, we met this one traveler from the Netherlands and another traveler from I believe uh, France and she was traveling for a year I think so I think she was starting her trip here and she's going for a year just traveling around the world and it's definitely something I'd recommend doing uh, my my brother and his wife are actually I think inspired by going on this trip and now they after talking to other people doing these long trips they're like I want to do this I want to travel for a long period of time and it definitely opens up your mind you know doing a trip to a new country and you know, going to a place like this, seeing some cherry blossoms, seeing a different culture. Here, people are very calm. Uh, Buddhism and Zen is very popular out here, so people, they, they listen to everything. They listen to each other, they listen to what's happening. Um, you want to have a conversation, there's a lot of pausing in the conversation, but people are reflecting and thinking about the event. And um, I'll put some pictures up. We actually got to meet with our some of our Japanese relatives. I'm actually a quarter Japanese, and we have some some Japanese relatives who live in close to Chiba, and I think they're in yeah the Chiba prefecture area. If I, I might be saying that wrong. Correct me if I am. Just put it in the comments. But um, they live in Chiba, and he's there. He has his family, and I was able to visit them about six years ago. And it was really cool to go back and have dinner with my my four of my three of my siblings came and. And he came as well, and later on, my other sister, um, we're all going to meet up and go surfing and stuff. So I'm definitely going to make a cool video about surfing in Japan. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys like some of this stuff. Um, sorry if I'm boring you, you know, you should click off to go to the next video. But, I don't know, Japan, Japan is a lot of fun. There's so much to do. There's so many different places you can go. You can come here and just relax. You can literally stay in one square mile of Tokyo and just you know, have a good week of relaxing, have some good drinks, some good food, meet some new people, see the different culture. Have you come here at the right time? There's just so much happening just in the past few days. So many of these trees have gone from not even blossoming at all, like nothing really on them to like fully blossoming. There's some that had a little bit on them, but now more and more trees have flowers on them. I'm looking at a rose tree right now. I'll try to put that on the screen. Um, I don't know if it's a rose bush or rose tree, but the flowers, these big pink rose looking flowers, and there's all these different cherry blossom trees around me, and you have the background of the water, and you have the, all the city skyscrapers scratching the sky. It's just very peaceful, very relaxing, and I would highly, highly recommend coming to Japan, coming to Japan, and just experiencing some of the you know, experiencing a different culture. If you guys haven't been to a different country, um, you can watch all these videos, you can see different countries. Maybe you're too busy, or work's in the way, or family's in the way, but if you're young and you have the chance to travel, definitely travel. Or if you're in the middle of life or later life, um, and you want, you know, you just have the opportunity, you have some time, you have some fun saved up, and you're like, hey, I wanna go travel and see some places, you can totally do it. Um, if you need help planning any trips, just contact me on Facebook, Instagram, or through the comments, and I'll definitely help out as much as I can. Um, a bunch of my other videos can help you out with planning, packing, and stuff. But guys, you should definitely travel and see the world because this is this is some of the beautiful parts you can see. Anyway, guys, it's been NST. Never stop traveling. Hope you guys like this video. Hopefully, you know I haven't been too boring. And if you have any recommendations, just let me know. If you want to see more videos through my travels across Asia, um, across the Siberian trans uh, train, transit train, and then um, into 
into Europe, seeing Eastern Europe. I think I'm going to go do some work at some hostels, maybe go down to Australia, do some work, and just do some backpacking around Europe. Definitely stay tuned, definitely subscribe. Anyway, guys, peace out, never stop traveling.